that position. All right, this Lycan for TNC. Abuse. Going for a quick bottle. Lizzie double stout shield, now grabbing his. Ukuku also has his queued up at the moment. So, pretty similar situation. Uh, as far as the mid lane goes, Klopp is actually not doing so hot. Only four CS on Armel. Yep. He's forced a lot of regen out as uh, oh. Misha gets brought down. It looks like he will be able to grab at least the one. Actually, Misha coming in to try for a punish. So, he gets the bouncy room, but I don't know if AU is getting out with his life. And his TP scroll, not quite enough mana either. So, looking like it will just be a secondary kill here for Navi. Are they going to hand it over to Blizzy? Oh, they're actually going to hand it over to Magical as he comes over. <laughs> a bit of taunt for himself as well. Uh, down bottom, actually, they do manage to interrupt the surge here on the Darks here, so Blizzy in some trouble. Fisher also going to block him in. He's heading for the tree, still fairly tanky, but completely surrounded. And TNC, uh, this Razor has just been everywhere this game. Uh, they do actually have found the Disruptor over on the one side. Lycan, a little bit of danger, but just pops the ultimate to be able to retreat. And Disruptor caught up on the high ground, trying to walk away. Kinetic Field helping to keep him alive, but the Wolves will chase him down. And Gabby securing that to go. That TNC definitely going to be making the aggressive moves. And they're here once again. Cuckoo arrives on the mid lane. Misha getting blocked off somewhat, stacked up, and right click down. Very easy for TNC. We'll have to see how he chooses to go. Looks like he's going for the full all in play. Well, oh, and they find Blizzy out as well. Do they actually have the damage to bring him down? Batrider running over, Fisher block, and the lasso. Enough chain stun, search not gonna help him, and that is yet another kill for T and sitting at position four on that net worth there. Oh, and just jumping forward, Magical a little bit too far forward in the lane, and he will be brought down. Misha tried for the deny. It was a nice attempt onto AU potentially. They, he still wants to battle for the bounty runes, though. They do not have the Fiend's Group available. He's only level six. They do immediately infest into the Centaur, trying to keep Misha alive, but uh, that is, they didn't need the... They have just felt like he, he doesn't have the mana for it. Yeah. Just yet. I think that might be... It could also be one of these situations where you're skilling something up mid-fight. Oh, Marmel. Oh, they try for him. Not going to happen. We do also have an attempt over at top lane as they go for Chu and will bring... He's got two different TPs. So he used his boots of travel to get bottom, but he's still got the town portal scroll. They got to remember that. He's actually coming in now. Misha's trying to camp over at the shrine, but they found him. Armel just right-clicking him down. Chu does just TP out, and they will bring down the Disruptor at the end of the day. But uh, it seems like Armel really very comfortable with that matchup. And they do actually find themselves a little bit of a lasso over at top. Chu getting caught out, thought that everybody might have been in the Roshan pit. But it's Kuz ahead of the docks. Oh, Crystallize, he wants this tier one, does tier two tower down at bottom. It gets denied in front of him by AU. Is Misha going to be able to get him out of here? The Echo Slam comes in and it's just too much burst damage. Misha can't even help. Magical. 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 He's had such a rough game so far. Gets found that once again. He's going to run away from the Shrine. The Shrine is not going to save him in this situation. Disruptor Seed being in, trying to help, but they've already lost so much life on this Razor, and they will just end up canceling the Disrupt. Heading outside of the base. This is a dangerous high ground. Crystallizes smoke has already been broken. Cuckoo breaks everything with his invis, and Tim's splits them up. Magical's on the high ground, but the rest of the team trapped in the low ground. He's going to try and survive with the Shrine until his team can get back up here. They drop the Serpent Wards down, but they're on the low ground. It's not really doing that much. Now Gabby finds his opportunity to charge into the back lines. Choose dead. Misha also going to be brought down. Triple kill for Armel. How many more can he get? The lasso now on to Crystallize. It won't quite be a rampage. AU getting in there, but the GG already being... You know, having a yeah. rough laning stage. Oh, really, better. really rough. There you go. Uh, if, with Darks here, you don't want the PL. This yeah. is... Much further. Yeah. And he's doing exactly what he needs to, right? Creating space for this anti-mage. A little bit more. He's cut away, uh, way through the creeps and uh, to the tree, so that he can just farm underneath the tower very safely. Cuckoo, yeah, battling up against Misha. Five stacks. The crystallize is going to come in here and look for this kill, and uh, the firefly is just barely enough. Couldn't go. Trying to deal with this swarm bug while also retreating back and uh, looking like he might be pretty dead. A bit more chase. Firefly runs out, and Misha will have this, but forces out the time lapse. Not the longest cooldown. Oh, the action. All right. Tim sitting over here just trying to get some D-Wards. Looks like he's accepted his fate. Magical even denying the sentry for whatever reason. And, uh, that is going to be the end of Tim's there. Do have Blizzy once again getting run down over at top and Armel rotating over with an arcane rune. They are doing just that over at mid, kicking back Armel. Crystallize coming in with the auto attack damage, but he's already been linked up. And AU is here providing a little bit of extra HP. Cuckoo also arriving and Chu is just in no man's land. He gets brought down. Nice Fisher as well. Opens up a little bit of space, and Cuckoo actually thinking about going in further. Needs to be careful. Up under the high ground, finally pops the salve. Cuckoo is juking for dear life. Salve finally getting cancelled, and Chu rotates in at the last moment. Catches him. He said, 
still looking like it should be a good Battle Fury timing. Mm -hmm. And they go in and once again, they are going to try for it, roll for it. This time around, they've got the Anti-Mage Illusion, and I think that's going to make all the difference. That will be a quick kill for Chu. Oxyro, I suppose, oh, both have another Misha along with the Root. Looks like he's going to be brought down here. They do are coming in with Crystal Eyes, throwing out the Swarm. Tim's in some danger, but he does have the Echo Slam available, graving him up. I don't know if they quite have the damage for this. Chu rolling forward because he really wants this kill, but it's straight into the waiting arms of Cuckoo. They will finally bring down the Earthshaker. Uh, it's a one for one trade. I guess Chu got quite both teams. Cuckoo in a bit of trouble up top here. Yeah, looking for the roll, not gonna find it. They do get the Centaur Stomp out, Silence as well. Wall drop down, still pretty tanky though. Has that Bracer, gets the lasso out as Armel arrives on the scene. Chu will finally drop, it's a one for one so far. Elsewhere on the map, AU going down, but it's Blizzy getting chased down in the trees. And to Defusal Blade, I don't know if he's going to go for Armel or Tims to do swap back onto the Razor. They've also got the stun Tims trying to run forward. He's got the chain stun. Can they actually bring down the Weaver? Crystallize finally popping. But now the Fisher stun. Armel survives. Tims with the plays. Oh my god. Should have gone. To be a little bit careful moving forward. Has that slightly so longer. Looking forward on TNC. Looking for Blizzy again. here. But there is Crystallize coming in. Backstabbing. We'll be looking for AU. Tims also approaching. Can they keep AU alive? Throws out one more heal, doesn't manage to get the Grave out in time. Armel will be the next one targeted, and looks like Tim's just gonna leave him for dead. Too many Na'vi heroes in this top lane, and they will just auto-attack him down. Quick double. For All right, well, Na'vi continuing to play very aggressively over in this dire jungle, and once again, it's AU caught out and just gets chunked. Uh, mana burn way too much. Is able to farm. Blizzy. All right, surging away, but they are actually rolling in onto Tim's. He was trying to join the rest of his team, but he gets separated. And Navi just controlling this space perfectly. They are going onto the darks here. Armel doing decent damage. Doesn't quite get vacuumed up onto the high ground. Just going to try for the TP at Misha. Doesn't have anything left to interrupt it. But Chu with the roll forward will be the one to cancel. Roshan pit area, but both teams smoking up. Can we get a good blink initiation? They're coming in. Armel trying to scout things out with the plasma field. Doesn't really find too much. Tim's running forward. Will be looking for the Echo, but the Age is already picked up, and I think that means TNC just want to disengage at this point. They don't have the Manta use just yet for the Anti-Mage. Stands his ground. Gabby right clicks him down. Magnetize spread around a little bit. Cuckoo slowed down inside of the river, takes flight, and will be just fine to flap himself at. And I think Navi are telling themselves that they have the better late game here. So no real reason to force it too badly. Tim's it's getting gone on. Once again, the Swarm is so annoying. There's so much Minus Armor. Crystallize is absolutely going to tear him to pieces. AU is just uh, teleporting himself out. Yep. That swap for Misha breaks that uh, breaks that link. Armel, a little bit of damage. Chu coming forward with the magnetite. They've also dropped the wall on the high ground. Gabby getting kited around a little bit. And he walks straight into the stone gate and just gets punched to death. Absolutely nothing done. Armel's also pretty low. Navi gonna chase for more as they land the slow from Chu. And they get a double kill on this Medusa. And this Venture Spirit is really denying that at every turn. Crystallize immediately is getting at the smoke. Is going to get jumped on here, but they don't manage to lock him down. Vacuum. Gabby pops the BKB. So too does Armel, but Magical's just around the corner. And these auto attacks are doing so much damage. Armel forced to turn tail and run. He gets auto attacked down on the other side of the fight. Gabby's just going for Chu. Doesn't even manage to kill him with the Mana Void. And Chu now rolling back onto him. Gabby looks like he will finally finish off that kill as TNC throw in two core buybacks, three buybacks now. Navi just taking a moment to regroup. Magical still pretty good on the mana. They're gonna have to kite this Medusa around, but not so easy in the case of Crystallize. He finds Tim's inside of the trees. Armel trying to drain out Magical, but once again, they have the swap. Tim's finds himself a nice echo, but there's no follow-up stuns, and Magical's just standing there, auto-attacking everybody. No problem whatsoever. Crystallize godlike, the first game of Weaver that we've seen this event. And it is a hell of a game. Yeah, I mean, just the fact that they weren't even able to commit fully to that team fight afterwards as well, right? Because they'd all bought out. They they died yeah. twice in that team fight. Yeah, it was enough to Bo torrent. Nick's done. That hero's dead, bid. No matter what it is. Pie for Navi. Yep, that's a magical special. Blizzy running over towards A, just pressing him a little bit, canceling out his clarity. But uh, Tim's has rotated all the way over to top lane, so it looks like Blizzy might be in some troubles. Tim's still holding the stun. They want to give Gabby this kill, and all it takes. Looking all that much experience, unfortunately. And Chu is making a rotation over at mid. Got this haste on the Templar Assassin. They are diving under the tower for Armel. Can he get this salve off? Won't be able to. Fairly successful kill if they can just land the shackle, and Armel gets pushed down into the river by the positioning of the TA. He just wanted to dodge the side blades, but instead, he'll be brought down. Yep. More stuns, Cuckoo taking some damage. AU is there with the purge, but they've got the hex chasing him down. Do they have another stun soon? Yes, they do. Rage Fire Blast coming back off cooldown. The salve is not going to be enough. 
And as I say that, mid is also being brought down on the Wraith 5 Blast. It's reduced by skewing it up. And they're going for more, looking for AU. Got the Shackle as well, channeling up the Blast. And uh, I don't know if AU is making that out of here. He's trying, though, with the Fairy Fight. Doesn't pop the Stick Charge. Fast Midas. And they're looking for more. AU, what are you doing down here? He's just getting Shackled up. Follow-up's done. Crystallize finds a quick kill, and they should be able to take these skeletons right now. So if Chu finds this lockdown without a Strength Morph, that could be dangerous. Yes. Follow-up stun. Do they have enough damage? Yes, they do, it looks like. And that is a dominating streak. Got the level 6. And uh, AU once again just kind of out in no man's land, trying to drag them away. Chu comes TPing in. They do land a nice two-man torrent. It's going to buy him a few more seconds, but a few more seconds is all he's going to get. Uh, it does matter for themselves. I love it. You know, they, they recognize, right, they've got a strong... You're coming over here. We do have the Will-O-Wisp up on the high ground. Misha does get caught by the boat, but I think Navi should just be able to chase through. They're going on to AU first. They burst him down, following it up onto Armel. He's tanky with the rum, but not tanky enough. Chu finds himself a killing spree, and they're even going for a little bit more. Gabby lifted up into the air. He waveforms across, is morphing into strength. Uh, but looks like Navi just, they want the Roshan. They don't want to... Too much, and I think credit really needs to be given to Navi for their decision to do that. Oh, okay. They're going for the Keeper of the Light. Looks like they will land the follow-up torrent, and uh, Cuckoo does grab himself. A yeah. Do, do you like this? Tim's getting stunned up, surrounded by the skeletons, shackled as well. A couple of crits from Crystallize. And he's now being conscripted. They're going there, marching towards the high ground. Armel, can he actually defend this? The Master of Rewards dropped. Skeletons going in. TNC trying to find their opportunity. They are just going to go with the stun onto the Templar Assassin, but she's the one with the Aegis. Willow is dropped down. It's just, he's seeing everybody. Cuckoo does get the ultimate out from the Oracle, but he gets sent straight into the air. Navi just swarming this tier 3 tower, trying to bring it down. They're waiting for Cuckoo as he drops back down into the shackle from the Shadow Shaman. Chu keeping him control. Nice torrent, nice boat. They lose one of the supports along with the Aegis pretty much immediately. Morphling hexed up, but he is morphing strength. Pretty tanky, pushes Blizzy out of the... Looking at Magical over at mid, but... Refraction gets worked through pretty quickly. He's actually down at half HP. Follow-up stun from Tim. They're going to lose the Templar Assassin. Crystallize doing his best with the damage. But TNC chasing for more Gabby as the Brewmaster doing some decent damage. Crystallize does have the ultimate, so they are going to stick around here a little bit longer and try and continue the fight. They're sizing them up. Blizzy does not have the Primal Split just yet. Nice Torrent connecting as Cuckoo is forced to just limp away. And as Navi now re-engaged, they've got a little bit too much left in the tank. They will save Gabby with the False Promise. Cuckoo waiting up on the high ground to have the Will-O-Wisp drop down to try and control this Morphling. He took a bit of extra ultimate is actually usable. Mm -hmm. Oh, Gabby sitting up here farming, but they know exactly where he is. He gets straight up hexed. Magical won't even be needed to finish that kill. Finish it off, go straight for those racks as well. Does have buyback, but I don't think you can afford to expand Oh, it. no, Navi are really setting up for this nicely. They've already got the side trap down. Lizzie is getting jumped onto and he's gone. Good pop from TNC. Will-O-Wisp gets put down. Crystallize jumping in pretty aggressively. They're going for AU. Bit of a mispositioning from him, potentially. Still haven't dealt with the Will-O-Wisp. Nice shackle as well from Chu. The melee racks have fallen, and it's still five seconds to go on this Morphling. They're going to be looking for Magical, but the Refraction is helping to keep him alive a little bit longer. Crystallize comes back in. It's way too much lockdown. Nothing to save the Earth. He finally gets the Enrage off, and he's going to keep on chasing onto Magical. Waveform through from Gabby, as they will manage to pop the Raid King ult once again. Nice stolen Hex. Gabby going to keep Chu locked down here. Secure one more kill though. Uh, oh no, Chu actually gets the kill on Cuckoo. Uh, but still, double there for Gabby mm -hmm. and just have that constantly pushing in. AU in some danger. Sideblade number one. Magical's got this haste and it's only going to take two more hits. He does get disarmed, uh, but he's just waiting for it. AU's going to waste a little bit more of his time. I don't think he survives even in the. Maybe in the fountain? Fairy fire and a salve. Oh, if he All right, okay. to this. <laughs> oh, no. Action <laughs> coming here from Armel and AU, wanting to yeah. back off a little bit. Oh, Armel's got to be careful. He's got the X mark. Yeah. Oh, if they're, if they're, oh no, the Courier and AU gets the disarm. Crystallize, are you going to come and finish this? Yes, you will. Oh, what a nice blink. He, I mean, what can he do in this situation? Master from Wards once again deployed up on the high ground. Level two. Yep. A lot of damage. Going for Crystallize, but he's not the best kill. Tries to blink away. Not quite going to be in time. Monoprint coming through as well, but the armor toggles help to keep him alive. He will... Looks like it finally loses his life. Not quite. Spirit Vessel not going to be enough. Blizzy in the middle of everything. Does manage to pop off the Primal Split. Cuckoo retreating backwards, but... Gabby also the focus. Jump forward from Crystallize, and he's morphing in the wrong direction! He was morphing Edgy instead of Strength, and Navi punish him heavily. Gabby getting brought down. He does have a buyback available, but... 
Ivy just kiting back out of the base into the side traps. Maybe looking for the turnaround. Crystallize wants to go in once again. They get the hex immediately under the air. So buyback now coming in. Goods done from Tim. Lands into three. Follow up torrent. Blizzy losing a lot of health. They're keeping Cuckoo out of the fight. And Blizzy does finally get right click down. They need more from Gabby. He's got to do some more work. Crystallize is just running forward. And Misha with the pushback, making the space for his team to retreat now. Gabby still desperate to get some more kills in this situation. But the Keeper of the Light is very fed bottom, which helped out Cuckoo immensely. Yep. Feels like he hasn't really done a whole lot. Tim's, all right, nice spiked carapace. Can open him up a little bit of space, but Magical's still there to chop his head clean. Yep, and now Navi straight up onto the high ground. Nice and easy. They do have this Aegis and the BKB available for Magical, so he's just standing his ground. Crystallize also going in. Trouble for Cuckoo. Once again, getting saved, but there's the immediate shackle, and now they do have, once again, the Will-O-Wisp coming through, controlling the team fight. So, too, is the primal split. Cuckoo trying to keep on fighting, but he will die as the False Promise ends, and there's just nobody that can deal with this ultimate from the Keeper of the Light. It will end up tying out Armel doing his best with the X marks the spot, but he's not doing any damage. And Navi clean. Gabby's been farming this entire time, but that's kind of all he's been doing. Not really able to put in team fights. They're jumping in now. They've already jumped onto the Oracle. AU's dead. Not in the best position, and with the Will-O-Wisp, they're locking down Cuckoo. Nothing to save him. He does manage to get the Enrage off. Armel's trapped in the middle of everything. Chu has a shackle for him. He's taken not that much damage, but with all five of Navi, they can easily bring him down. And to get another buyback, and TNC are just bleeding lives left and right. The Skeletons, along with the Master Serpent Wards, bringing down the Lane of Rax. Finally, who hexed up. Finally, the boat coming in. Can they actually bring down this Templar Assassin? They will manage to get her the once, but uh, that's about it. They do lose the Wraith King for real this time, but that is that is Mega Creeps at this point. It should probably be the game. Lizzie gets brought down. Double kill for Gabby. But the two supports were never going to drag them back to the game. Tim's, they know exactly where he is. Blink onto him, get the dust. Chu just waiting for the hex. Magical two shots him now with the Daedalus Blizzy. Straight up onto the high ground. They're going to try and pop the Brewmaster at the very least. Can they do it? They've got the E-Blade. All right, that's some kind of a turn down. They're fighting on top of their shrine as the Mega Creeps start pouring into the base. That's going to be trouble. Kanka being focused, trying, helping to keep everybody alive. Chu once again over in the trees, looking for these shackles. Going to block himself in with the Mass Serpent Wards. Is that going to keep him safe from the Ursa? I'm not sure. The Will-O-Wisp is certainly helping. Cuckoo finally gets through. Actually, not quite with the face boots. He's still being controlled. A couple more auto attacks from Magical to finish him off. Chu jumps forward for one more hex. And that is going to be your GG called Navi moving forward into the upper bracket here at ESL1 Mumbai.